Hey guys, it's Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyles and I'm here in Barcelona just speaking to you guys about a concept that I believe is so, so important for you guys to know about and that is wanting a woman fully but not needing her. This is so sexy. It really is, man. It's so sexy. When you're talking to a woman, there's nothing more alluring, nothing more attractive than a man who really wants her. I mean, wants her from every single angle, so to speak. He wants her from who she is as a woman. He wants her sexually. He wants her as far as the way she looks. He wants her as far as the way she thinks. I mean, all the way through, through and through, he wants her. That is so attractive. And the reason why it's so attractive is because you're hitting a woman's deepest bliss. One of, one of a woman's deepest pleasures to be with a man. And that is to be seen specifically with eyes that can see her for her. That is incredibly attractive. That's something that's going to take a woman deeper into her heart. She's going to be able to relax into you. She's going to be able to relax into herself around you. That's what you want. Guys, talk about, I want girls who are really feminine, women who are radiant, women who have an energy that draws you in. If you want to help a woman to be able to access that in front of you, or be able to help a woman to be like that because of you, give her the focus. Give her the stillness. For you to be able to stay there and see her to the core of who she is. One of the strengths that I've had for many many years is being able to really see a woman pass what she can't even see and that's because I can see myself really well I can see deep within myself and that allows me to see deep in a woman so when I'm there with the woman I want every part of her it's very common for me to get bonus when I'm in field like really I love this I love getting bonus in field it lets me know that I'm fully there with her it lets me know that nothing else matters in this moment but being with this woman and that is what should matter to you. Being there so fully that you forget that you're there. That you forget everything around you. You're so present that it seems like there's no other, there's no other girl in the world besides the one you're speaking to. This is wanting her fully. This is not just looking at, okay, what do you have as a passion in your life or what do you enjoy? It's really looking past that to what's be even behind that. She's like, I enjoy this because of the creativity about it. And you really allow her to sit with the creativity. Because what does that mean to her? What does creativity mean to that woman you're speaking to? Because creativity for me means something. Creativity for you means something. What does it mean for the woman? Does it mean the ability to express love on paper? And then you're able to notice that, like, she says to you, you know, I enjoy going for walks in the park. You sit with it for a moment, and you go, and when you're going for these walks, what makes the park different from the street? She goes, uh, she sits with it for a moment. Then she goes, in the park, it's very relaxing. It gets me in my body. Now, many girls won't say that, but she'll say things, many girls will say things along the lines of, it's relaxing, the atmosphere is very, very calm, you know, it's, it's nature. And from that, what can you draw from her? Can you draw the fact that relaxation is a way for her to feel into her body? Can you draw from that, that calmness is what makes her feel at home. Can you draw these things from that? That's what you want to be. You want to be zoning in with focus of this moment. 100% devoted. That's what it really is. You're 100% devoted to this moment with this woman. There's no lacks in when you're doing that. You're completely here moment to moment with her. Whether she's feeling angry, whether she's feeling horny, whether she's feeling appreciation, you're there with her fully through everything. And now you're teaching a woman that when you're around me, you can open fully. 
and that's when she'll feel seen and more seen and more seen and now she feels desired and more desire and more desire because you're hitting that bliss that a woman loves she loves that bliss hit it give yourself the focus and the time to be able to be there and not be in a rush hold space and my feminine and masculinity talk on the natural lifestyles channel I talk about this concept of holding space being able to not be in a rush and just being here relaxed unmoving focused and penetrative but that needs to be coupled with something else and needs to be coupled with not needing her that is the beauty that's where the beauty comes in because in the wanting She's like, oh, I feel amazing. But when you don't need her as well, that's when the wanting becomes stronger. It's like if you had the gas pedal and if you had the fucking gas. No, if you had the, the, the brake and the gas. And with the gas, with the gas, you're just completely going. You're fully going and you don't hit the brake at any moment. That is your desire. You're fully being drawn in by your desire to want to know who she is as a woman, know what she's like sexually, and you're just fully being drawn with that. You're not putting the brake on it because if you put the brake on it, she won't fully be, she won't fully feel that you want her with every part of you. She won't feel that through it and through and through, which is the ability to be so taken away in this moment by your desire that she forgets that she's in a conversation with a new person. And that's when a woman goes, why am I telling you this? Or, my God, I never really have had this before where I can just open up like this. And it's because of you. It's because of your ability to stay present, still, remained in this moment with her, fixated on the fact that, of, uh, that you want to know about her. You want to find out who she is in many different types of ways. Not needing her. The ability to stay there, want her, but not be attached to it. Because you can want a woman fully and be attached to it so much that, that anything she can do in that moment, it can derail you. It can take you from the moment. You can recoil. But when you can want a woman fully and not be attached to that wanting, whew, man, man, man. That's when shit turn beautiful. That's when it really turns into this electricity that she probably has never felt in her life because it's so uncommon for a man to want a woman fully and to uh, not need her what's really common is for a man to want her be attached become needy because of that and he's like I want her so much everything about her is perfect uh, she's just a perfect girl for me and she gets bored by that you know why because there's no backbone to that man the not needing is what gives you the backbone. That's what it is. How do I not need a woman but want her fully? Understand that women are amazing. They're beautiful. They're everything that we call lovely. They're radiant. They are the most beautiful thing to a man on earth. They are. And want a woman fully. But what you need to do is to understand this. A woman is all those beautiful, amazing things. But she'll, ne she'll never satisfy you in the way that you're thinking. There's a thought in a man's mind that a woman can satisfy me in all these ways. And if I just find that woman, she'll give me everything that I need. Listen to yourself, man. Really listen to yourself. She'll give me all the things that I need. Basically what you're saying is, she completes me. And it's all these movies and all these fucking sitcoms and all these media things that's putting out, you know, little quotes of, you know, I am, I'll be better if I have my complete there. The, the person that completes me. You'll know, you'll know a woman is good for you when she completes the part of yourself that you're looking for. Shit like that. Are you really that drawn in by stuff like that? That's because you're operating from the belief that... A woman will satisfy the part of me that I have not satisfied myself. That will never happen. Come to that peace. That will never happen. And when you can understand that, yes, I can have a woman in my life, fully want her and not need her, that's when you can start sharing with women. Let me go back to this truth. Women will never satisfy you in a way that you're thinking. So stop trying to go out there and find women who can complete you. It'll never happen. I promise you it won't. Just go try it. And if you tried it thus far, what has happened? What has happened? 
Have you felt powerless to the women that you've met? To the women who are in your life? Or the women who left your life? The powerlessness comes from the fact that she has something that I'm after and I'm not getting it anymore because she's gone. But the truth was, you were never getting it even when she was there. You weren't. It was an illusion that you were, but you actually weren't getting it. That peace to that can move you into knowing what it is that you need for yourself. What do you need for yourself? What are you lacking? What is the thing that when you go up to a woman, you hope that she gives you? That's the thing you need to start generating in yourself. Generate whatever it is that you're going to seek. Because you are that that you seek. You have that which you seek. And start to really zone in with that. Zone in with the thing that I'm missing this. And I know that a woman will give me to that. So why not take care of that myself? And then when I take care of that, I'll be able to truly share with a woman. And then sharing with her, I can really be there with her. I can really give her presence. I can really stay there and express the depths of my heart. I can really be there and give her all that I want to give her. Because women out there, they're missing out on what you can give them, man. You can give them so much more than what you're giving them now. It's just that you are totally not at ease with yourself. You're not at ease with the part of yourself that wants to be loved. Start loving yourself. You are not at ease with the part of yourself that wants to appreciate yourself. That wants appreciation. Start appreciating yourself. And you will always attract a woman into your life who's the exact thing that you're seeking and you won't feel the fulfillment in the end. I promise you won't. The reason why is because I remember this was 2014. I was in an open relationship with the girl and as I'm in an open relationship, I noticed that I just want to feel appreciated. That's what I'm noticing. And I attracted a girl to me who wanted to be appreciated as well. And it was always this battle of us doing these little micro things that see to make us see if we are appreciated by each other. I would say things like, so tell me what you like about me. And we'd be together and she'd be like, you know, I like this and I like this. So you tell me what you like about me. It was so toxic, man. I hated doing it. I did because I knew in that moment I was trying to seek for something that I thought I didn't have. And now I can't attract her. I cannot attract that girl because I don't try to seek women who can appreciate me. I'm going out trying to appreciate the women that I meet. Because I don't need women in my life. I don't. I absolutely want women with everything, every part of me. I absolutely do. For me to stand here and say that I don't, I'm fucking lying. But for me to stand here and say that I absolutely want women with every part of me, that is the truth. But I also know that I don't need women in my life. I don't. I, even if I had a woman in my life and I had my mission, my mission is more important than my woman. It really is. All the time. It will, it will forever be like that. And many of you guys, if, whether you agree with me or not, that's the way it works for me. And this is me totally giving you my opinion, and it absolutely works for me because I know when I go up to women, I'm not attached to anything. So she can really feel my desire, and that's what I want her to do. I want her to feel every part of it because I'm there to give it to her. I want you guys to start to generate in yourself the thing that you're trying to seek in women. Because once you start to generate that in yourself or start to seek that out and fulfill that part of yourself, you can go out with a full cup. You can go up to women and really want the woman you talk to without being attached to the result, without being attached to if she, if she likes you, without being attached to the fact that I'm wanting this woman and I'm giving her all this appreciation, why isn't she giving me the feedback that I want, which is the result, which is the number number, which is sex. And this is going to be incredibly important for your journey. This is Sony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and I hope you guys can take what I told you into your heart because this is the difference between you being a needy man and you being a man full of desire that doesn't need anything from the woman. Until next time, enjoy the view of all the people walking past. I love you guys. I'm out.